What's poppin' players and pimps? We are back at it again, this time with the Xemnas fight. Um, I cut out the the cutscene in this, cause holy shit it is long. Like, even when I sped it up, it cut it down from like seven and a half minutes to about one and a half minutes. But I left in this part, cause I like it. You know? <laughs> Sora with his deep, high voice. I know the Keyblade didn't choose me, and I don't care! <laughs> I'm proud to be a part of a small part of something bigger. <laughs> the power of friendship. The people it did choose. Fucking <laughs> gasp. My friends, they're my power. My friends are my power. <laughs> friendship is power. Yeah, friendship, teamwork. Beat his ass. <laughs> Thor is gonna beat that ass, Zigbar. You never saw it coming with the Keyblade. Oh my God. This is why I should and shouldn't be the voice of any anime character ever. But thank God I cut that down, because holy crap. Um, this video is going to be really short, actually. Uh, as I had noted before, boss fights in JRPGs are a lot shorter than you think they are. It's just the number of times that you have to freaking do it. And so that's what makes them feel really, really long. Especially with how high intense and high anxiety they are. they just like fucking terrifying. So yeah, this fight, let's see, starts at about a minute 33, this video is about six and a half minutes long. <laughs> so you can tell this is going to be a especially long fight. Um, what was the strategy I had for this one? Hey, there goes my, tr my uh, Tyrannosaurus. He's cool. I should have made his colors better, whatever. Yeah, I hate these disappearing bosses. Did I use a strategy for this one? Uh, don't die. That was my first step. Um, I didn't use the blocking tactic too much in this. Uh, I actually did a lot of jumping and gliding and just getting out of the way because he'll just lay into you with the melee attacks. Xemnas does have a habit of disappearing. Uh, he's also kind of stupid sometimes too where he'll make a box around you and as you can see I just kind of fell through it. But he also has a lot of HP but he's not as hard as he looks for for reference. There go my balloons. Um, I would like, I did a little bit of research when I, uh, the I think after like my third or fourth time dying to all these bosses during this crazy boss rush, I uh, I did do a little bit of research and I'm like, how did other people do it? And um, that was <laughs> I didn't really learn anything for most of them except maybe the Xehanort fight. And we'll get to that bridge when we get to it. Goes, oh boy, that's fun. Uh, my worst Mickey impression ever. And good God Almighty, this is he's a hell of a guy. Um, who did I have for this one? It was the, oh yeah, the sharpshooter fish. Yep, and I would shoot at him, and uh, since I had more melee attacks on Sora, I also cut out the part of the beginning where for a good, I'd say two minutes, it was just me moving my deck around because no one wants to see that. And I, Get out the way! But I actually am a little bit more melee specific with him, so I don't mind using them as much and getting a little bit more up close and personal, despite the fact that Xemnas has like a pretty pretty big amount of HP, probably the most out of any boss uh, that I've fought up to that point in the story. All the bosses like are pretty pretty okay, and then the game just makes a weird kind of difficulty curve. But yeah, I guess when you're trapped in those boxes, it's really good to use kind of distance-based attacks, magic attacks, and things of that nature. Um, here he goes, throwing buildings at me, and here I am, probably answering a text message or some bullshit like that. What do you need to do for this fight? Defeat Xemnas! Are there, are there any steps? No! Just beat him! Just, just beat his ass! He's a he's an evil villain! Grrr! Angry! Rage! Until we come back from pausing! Holy shit, dude. How long did I have this paused? My god. So this fight is even shorter than I thought it would be. Oh my goodness. There we go. Now we're unpaused. He's throwing buildings at us. Um, you can actually cut those buildings down, I think. Or use a reaction command or something like that. But uh, mostly you just kind of get out the way. Did I use walkthrough to study more parts of this game? You're damn right. Oof! Yeah, got a building thrown at me. That only hurt a lot. But I had to find which melee attacks I had that had some distance on them. And then here comes that. And this should be the chance to... You can fly and dodge them. And there he goes. There it goes. Yeah, you use that little reaction button. And time that right. Um, I'm using... A lot of shooting magic attacks. You can actually do a pretty good amount of damage even without the balloons when it comes to distance stuff. But even your melee attacks are actually pretty effective against Xemnas depending on what kind of stat boost you have set up to your sword or your 
uh, Riku. I don't remember what I had on this sword with this dinosaur, because uh, like I said, when I made the dinosaur, the Triceratops and the T-Rex, you're going to see them both in the final fight. Um, I didn't particularly level them that far. I grinded with them so I could get used to them so they could have a decent amount and I could get a couple extra bonus abilities. Uh, I don't even I don't even think the dinosaurs even got to participate in the uh, whatever that little competition card game cup BS mathematics arithmetic game is. Uh, which when I figured out how to play that game I started becoming beast at it. Um, I probably could go back and like master it but I'm just probably not gonna see how close I am to beating his ass like took me a good couple minutes this is probably my third attempt at fighting Xemnas the first one really caught me off guard because I didn't when I saw the scene I knew the fight was coming I didn't realize how much of a how intense and kind of on your ass it would be but he also he also takes pretty solid breaks which gives you enough time to beat his ass just like that and hit him with a hit him with a melee attack I wanted to kill him with Ars Arcanum uh, but I didn't get a chance to, which I think was one of the later moves I added to my deck. But I really like it. It's a fun move, and it gets to you across the screen really fast. But yeah, that's my Xemnas fight. Uh, I got that sigil, whatever that creates. And uh, I will see you in the next video, where it should be the final video for all.